So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0562 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P0562 code? Well, it's a charging system low voltage. And what does this mean? Well, when the engine's running, the alternator should be putting out at least 13 and half to 14 volts. And if it's not putting out that, then it's not charging correctly. And the onboard computer is going to see this. And so it's going to give out a P0562 code. When this happens, very likely you're also going to get some kind of message on your dashboard, something like a battery light or an alternator light or something like this, a check charging system. But basically the alternator is not charging the vehicle correctly. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so some possible causes. Well, it could be a bad battery. It could be in the wiring, mainly with the battery terminals. They might be corroded or loose. It could be the alternator, could be a battery current sensor and could be a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go check out the battery and be sure all the connections are good and things like this. Mainly check out these terminals. Be sure they're on tight, they're not corroded or anything's going on there because anything going on with the connections is going to cause problems. So you want to make sure that's all good. And then the next thing that can be done is that you could check the system for the correct voltages. And this is really easy to do. All you need is a multimeter that reads DC voltage. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. Any $10, $20 multimeter will work just as long as it reads DC voltage. And basically what you do is that with the engine off, you go and check the battery voltage and see what it's at. And it should be around like 12.20 to something like 12.5, something along those lines. And then what you do is that you start up the engine and you check the voltage again and it should go up. It should go up to like at least 13 and a half, 14 and a half volts. You could check what the rated output is for your particular alternator, but as long as it's like 13 and a half to 14 and a half, that's usually about the range that it's supposed to be at. And if it doesn't, then you know that there's something going on and that alternator needs to be checked out. And so if you're not getting the correct voltage output from that alternator, then the next thing to do is to take that alternator off and take it to an auto parts store to get tested. Automotive stores will usually test the alternator for free, but that would be the next thing to do would be go have that alternator tested. And if it's bad, then go ahead and replace it. When you go to check the voltages with the engine running and you are getting the correct output it's getting like at least 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts then the alternator is good and so the next thing to check would be the battery and again you can take this down to an automotive store they'll test the batteries for free but basically there might be something going on with the battery like there might be a dead cell or something like that it's just causing issues so the next thing to do would be to go test the battery and be sure that it's good and if it's not then replace it if you go through and that alternator is outputting the right voltage that battery test good and things like this then check to see if you have a battery current sensor. Not all Hondas have these, but many newer ones do. And if you do have one of these sensors and it goes bad, then it can cause issues. But the next thing to do would be to go check it out and either test it or replace it to see if it's causing the issue. Another thing to keep in mind is that these are going to be on a fuse. So if you're not getting the correct voltage output and the alternator test good and things like this, then be sure to check for any kind of blowing fuses or something along those lines because that'll definitely cause issues. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0562 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.